Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, March 9th, 2018. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Google Chrome that of course just had version 65 that we'll talk about today, see what's new. Um, it was released, of course, a couple of days ago. But uh, one of the news that we're having is that in a version to be released soon, it will be able to actually send notifications through Windows 10. So they're, aiding, they're going to add that capability, basically. And uh, does that mean that you might actually want to try it out and make some timeline features available? That's what we're going to see. But it's a start having notifications within Windows 10. Well, is the Bitcoin less interesting suddenly? It seems that in the past few months, the searches for cryptocurrencies have steadily fallen as if it's less and less interesting to look at this cryptocurrency. Is that a sign of maybe the Bitcoin bubble kind of being over? That's going to be an interesting thing to look at. A investigation is going on because um, it would seem that maybe NVIDIA and by the use of its partner program is uh, there's allegations that it might actually use all of these efforts to try to kill off competition and that it really tries to be the only GPU provider. So, um, you know, we're not really sure where exactly and how it's happening. Um, is it, you know, really something going strong? Um, you know, no, these are big companies and uh, sometimes they kind of use really bad practices to try to stay mainstream if you want. Well, Twitter has something which is a verified account. If you have or if you are a, a celebrity or somebody that, you know, really needs to have a verified account, well, there's a little check mark next to the Twitter handle. Well, now Twitter is trying to actually get this enabled for everybody. So that means you could get your official Twitter verified account also, even if you're not a star. Well, the research that has been done was very interesting, is demonstrating that Android users are more loyal to, the, loyal to the platform and the brand than iOS users, which are Apple users. 91 percent of people with Android stayed with the brand when switching phone. 86 percent on iOS. Now, 86 percent is still a good number, and I think, you know, even though these numbers are higher on Android, I think that a lot, you know, if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android phone, I think pretty much everybody stays with the same device or the same type of operating system when they change. Well, the uh, California is the 18th state that has passed the right to repair bill, which is a bill that basically wants to say, hey, you're not allowed to prevent us from having our devices fixed or even to some point modification have modified devices um, this is good because i mean too many devices out there are you know treated as if they should not be you know tampered with and um, well you know maybe it will reduce the electronic wastes around the world so um, that's good news so um, a study that is very interesting is saying that social media users have a tendency to lie more on their social um, profile on their social media website than uh, on a daily life activity and that a lot of for example Facebook users tend to embellish make their lives a little more interesting on Facebook than it actually might really is so this is what comes out of a little study that's been looking at who you are on life and who you are on Facebook. Uh, interesting study here. So it seems that the enterprise adoption rate of Windows 10 is increasing. A study that's been looking at the uh, uptick in Windows 10 for business in the past year say that uh, yes, Windows 10 is starting to get a little more momentum in the enterprise and more and more businesses are moving to the new operating system. So this is probably good news for Microsoft. 
a series of apps that were removed from the Google Play Store are actually a little dumb and kind of shows you that the people behind these apps pretty probably don't know much about what they're doing. It's a series of apps that actually tries to infect you with a Windows malware. But the problem is you're an Android on an Android device. You can't really infect with a Windows malware. So of course this lame way of infecting is uh, has been found in many little apps that were in the Google Play Store. But, uh, you know, I think these, you know, we always talk about, you know, bad guys doing really, really incredible things. Well, I think this is bad guys that are just too dumb to understand what they're doing. And talking about infections, a security researcher has done a study, says that there's 29 different types of attacks that come through USB thumb drives. And that uh, basically what he says is a very simple rule. Never, ever plug a USB thumb drive some, from somebody else into your computer. The chances of you getting infected by something are just way too high. And in that study, he says that of the 29 that he found, some of them are almost impossible to detect. So uh, maybe it's not a good idea to share thumb drives. Oculus is pushing a software update after they kind of destroyed or bricked most VR headsets. But the thing is, a lot of people are having problems and they're saying that even with the software update, they're still having issues uh, without, you know, also the fact that there are some that say that just the update crashes on the Oculus. So, of course, that is a major issue and uh, the company is trying to struggle to fix this. And this was the Tech News Update for Friday, March 9th, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.